Hi, Andreas from Total here. I've got some exciting news because the popover API just landed in Chrome. Now, if you're not familiar with the popover API, you can go and Google it and read more about it. But here's a short example that sort of shows you what you can do with it. So right here, I've got a button with the word delete on it. And below, I've got a div here that acts as a delete confirmation dialog. And with the new popover API, what I can do is select this div, add an attribute of popover, and I'm going to set that to auto. Um, and then I'm going to add an ID attribute, and we're going to call this delete confirm. Um, and now I can, on my button here, add a new attribute to that called popover target. And that's going to be delete confirm. And what that means is that this button now controls my um, delete dialog. So if we go into test mode here in Total, we click delete. We can see that when we click this, this dialog now pops up. And now we can actually just go and uh, fix the styling. Uh, let's put it at fixed and give it some auto margin and then let's try again now we get it nice in the center right and because i picked um popover to be auto if i click outside it automatically uh, removes itself if i hit escape it's also automatically gonna gonna go away so normally if you had to do that in any app with um, without the popover api you would have to add a lot of custom logic like when should i show the dialog uh, have event listeners on escape, all these things, but with the popover API, you get all of that for free. So it's a really, really nice API. The catch is it's only in Chrome. So it's going to be a few more months before it's got broad support in your other browsers, um, but we will definitely re announce it uh, when it's ready to use in Total and the rest of the web. So we're really looking forward to that, and you can play around with the popover API in Total today if you want. Um, please go and try it out. And thank you for watching.